So Virgo, this is your September 2019. So Virgo, who is it that is putting you in your place? Somebody has either spoken to you directly or indirectly. Somebody has either sent you messages. Somebody has definitely confronted you. Somebody may or may not want to continue on with a certain performance, with a certain situation, with a certain relationship. Virgos are definitely being strong right now. Being with somebody right now, you may have walked away and went with a different partner. Or your partner may have walked away and went with somebody else. Where this is standing is showing that whoever walked away is not content with what they did. They are not finding that they are happier where they are now. Somebody is definitely regretting the loss of a relationship because I see them looking as in their past relationship possibly with you or you with them as being the lover's card in reverse, meaning that the happiness is not there right now. So whoever left to walk away to be with somebody else is not finding the happiness that they had once with you. It is definitely in their mind and in their thoughts. You are all over them and they are thinking constantly about you. They are thinking about the way that things used to be, the happiness that you had, the celebrations that you shared, the events that you got through, the different storms that you weathered. It seems like you were able to handle pretty much anything that came down the pike and you did this together. But then there was something that came between you that made you kind of have different opinions, different feelings, um, different responses, which then created that separation. But that didn't stop somebody from still wanting to hold on to you. Somebody's still not willing to let you go all the way. Somebody knows that there's still something there between the two of you that needs to be found out. Somebody's finding that there's so many more things to do, so much more opportunity in front of them they know if they could just fix one problem or one situation and if they could get rid of something else now, they would have the opportunity to come back towards you to once again ignite something for the better, for the positive. A lot of you may have had to deal with this third party situation. A lot of you may be dealing with family members, celebrating, a gathering, getting together. Maybe it's a birthday party, maybe it is a baby shower. But somebody is definitely getting together. Someone else may have been dealing with a third party situation with a Virgo that may have to deal with a pregnancy. An unwanted birth. An unexpected birth. But I do feel like this person will continue either to have this child or has already had this child. I feel like the person who is sitting now happily on their throne. Here is the justice card. But I feel like this person is going to raise a child by themselves because they tricked or trapped someone into a pregnancy, into a birth. Somebody did not know that this person was able to get pregnant thinking they were using contraceptives. Somebody was playing tricks on a Virgo. Somebody definitely did not know Okay, somebody was playing the, the up and down. Somebody was playing the balancing act. Somebody was trying to time something just perfect for their, you know, cycle to make sure that they could, in fact, get pregnant. Somebody knew that it was going to be a one-night stand and took advantage of that and tried to take this so it could turn into a lifetime. Trying to keep somebody around that did not want to spend a lifetime with them. This may make sense to some of you. For some of you, Virgos, you are definitely sitting as the Queen of Cups as we speak. You are ready to now disperse everything that you have and share your life with someone. You are now wanting to find that partnership, that relationship, that friendship, that bond that makes you not feel so lonely anymore. Some of you are tired of being sick and tired. Some of you are tired of being by yourself. Some of you are wanting family. Some of you are wanting to have somebody around. At the same time, the characters that have been in and out of your life have not been worth your while. Nobody came in that was willing to sweep you off of your feet and make a lifetime commitment to you. But I feel a lot of you are waiting for that to come. That is now on the way for a lot of you. So be aware. This is going to be a blessing in disguise. The waiting time that you had is now going to be a, a benefit to you. It is also going to be something you look back on because soon you are not going to have to worry about being by yourself, doing things alone, 
being afraid at night, going to different family functions, events, weddings, or whatever without a partner. Now you don't have to feel like that third wheel with all of your friends who are also already in relationships. I do feel like with the world card coming, you have opportunities and blessings all around you. It also is telling me that it is finally the end of a negative cycle. So there is positive things coming your way. Be prepared to open the door. A lot of you are finished being trapped, feeling alone, playing the hermit. A lot of you don't want that anymore. It is time for your fortune to get better. Your finances are going to improve. So for the month of September, you're going to see money. Money. You see fortune? Fortune is coming your way. For some of you, you spend a lot of time reading, you see? For some of you, you may be doing something of Bible study with other people. You may be sharing something. All right? For some of you, you're doing a lot of praying to your angels. And I do feel like this is a very guided prayer. For some of you, the swords that were put into your back, placed one by one. Over and over was all the forgiveness that you gave to your partner. Over and over was all the different things you let them get away with. Things that you let go. Things that were able to be finalized. Now I see that those swords are falling out of somebody's back. Those swords are releasing toxic energies. Those swords are definitely pulling out all the heartache and the pain. So as each sword comes back, as each sword comes out of your back, it is going to make you feel so much better. Some of you are still stuck in the past. you got to get out of that mode. you got to get out of that victim mode, some of you. Some of you are focused on what happened, what they did, questioning why did they do it. There is no why reason. There is no why reason. It is just because. There is no, I intended to hurt you. No. There is no, I just wanted to piss you off. No. The only thing there is is that I am selfish and that I got ch stuck and trapped in toxic behavior. I had addictions. I had things I didn't know how to handle. So some of you are saying in a relationship, there was things you didn't handle the right way. There was things that you didn't talk about or sort out. You, you reacted to them instead of responding to them. And when you react, you create, create more drama, more chaos, more friction, more arguments. Lack of communication will destroy your relationship faster than anything else. For some of you, when I saw the Ace of Swords... When I saw the Ace of Swords, yes, it told me about an opportunity for a brighter future, a new beginning, something that is being handed to you. Now, for some of you, something is being handed down to you in a traditional value. For some of you in a relationship, love is going to be offered to you. There is going to be an invitation that comes to you unexpectedly. You did not expect somebody to communicate and talk to you and offer love to you, but this is what you're going to find out very quickly. You're going to see that there is a brighter future coming towards you. Those who are not accepting your ex back or those who don't expect your ex back, there is somebody new coming. For some of you, this new person coming is going to come in and then after that, your ex is going to try to return. While you're involved with somebody new, that is going to create the confusion. That is the devil at work. Do not go backwards, okay? Remember what you have. Look at it closely. Remember the last person that had it didn't take care of it. They abused it. They treated it wrong. They treated you wrong. They disrespected you. They didn't take your feelings into consideration. They brushed you aside. They made you fend down or bend down to them and give them forgiveness quickly on stupid shit that they did that they didn't want to be accountable for or they didn't want to take responsibility for their own shit, so to speak. And as you sit wondering, well, if I have this, who can I offer it to? Who can I share this with? You know, I don't want to just keep this all for myself. What good is having all this happiness, this joy, my home? What is good for all this if I can't share it with someone? So a lot of you are wondering, your happiness you first thought was money. You thought it was having so much material things. You thought it was being in, in a great area. You thought it was living in a big home. You thought it was driving an expensive car. You thought it was having all name brand clothes. But when you found out that you had all that and you still weren't happy, that's when you became the Queen of Swords. You became the Queen of Swords. 
you decided to sit up higher. To look around to see what it is. To look around to see what it is that you've been missing. So this is what you're doing for the month of September. You're going to pay attention to what's around you. And you're going to make that decision. To finally stand up for yourself. To make an offer to somebody or accept an offer from someone. That serves you. That makes you feel better. That makes you happier. And then in turn you will make that person happy. There is definitely new growths, a new beginning here. You see the tree? So there is life here on this love road. You see it's red and it is with possibly a water sign. It could also be with an air sign. But I do feel like there will be a few bits of clouded judgment here until you get to the proper place that you need to be. But once you know your home, you're going to know your home. Once you know you're with the right person, it's going to feel like home. You won't have to question anybody, is this person right for me? Because you will know, because the angels sit right beneath you. They sit right beneath you and they protect you. Okay, they are helping you to get your strength back. You're going to see what's coming towards you at the very tip of that stick. At the very tip of that sword. Okay, the point is dull now. You're not trying to fight anymore. Okay, you're simply holding that, that sword up in the air for your direction. For a celebration. To say, I am queen. I deserve to be loved and treated properly. I am God's child. I am the daughter of the Most High. And he would not have you treat me the same way. So anything that was negative will end. And only positive things will come through for you for the month of September. And from then on, if you set your boundaries the way you should.